Warning. This game contains content that might not be suitable for most audiences. Viewer's discretion is advised. Beep. 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 <laughs> Hola. Hello. Charlie, está todo bien? Charlie, is everything all right? Sí. ¿A qué viene esa pregunta? Yeah. Why are you asking that? Lo siento, simplemente. Simplemente lo siento. Um, sorry. I'm just really, really sorry. Tuviste esa pesadilla de nuevo, ¿verdad? Ya te lo dije. Tú no tuviste la culpa de nada, Lucy. You had the nightmare again, didn't you? Already told you, Lucy. You're not the one to blame for all that. It's not your fault. Lo sé, pero no puedo evitar sentirme así. Si no fuera por mí, nada de esto nos hubiera sucedido. No habría sufrido todas las cosas que sufriste. I know, but I can't help it. If it wasn't for me, none of this would have happened. You wouldn't have suffered all those terrible things. Perdón. De seguro, ya debes estar cansado de mis llamadas, aguantando a tu hermana a altas horas de la noche. Sorry. I'm sure you must be tired of getting all my calls by now, putting up with your sister at late hours of the night. Y justo cuando tengo una cita en la mañana. Especially when I have a date in the morning. ¿Una cita? ¿Por qué no me habías mencionado nada al respecto? A date? Why didn't you tell me anything about that? Why didn't I tell her about any of that? Or why didn't Charlie tell her about any of that? Charlie? You still there? No te lo dijo porque sabría que reaccionarías así. He didn't tell you because he knew you would react this way. ¿Eres tú? Tú planeaste todo esto para él, ¿verdad? It's you. You planned all of this for him, didn't you? Charlie no está listo aún para tener citas y lo sabes. Esto es totalmente peligroso y yo no, no voy a permitirlo. You know, I kind of like... No I kind of like how it kind of sounds like we're in the middle of like some sort of like telenovela or something. It's, it's, <laughs> it's kind of great. Charlie isn't ready for having dates yet, and you know that. This is completely dangerous, and I... I won't allow it. I won't allow it! Ya lo veremos, hermanita. We'll see, little sis. Well, great, great. I guess we're... I guess we're getting right into this now. What's your name? It's Lion. All right. Ten minutes late. This can't be possible. What kind of impression am I gonna give by showing up this late? Yeah, I just hope he keeps waiting for me or this whole trip will have been in vain. I can't bear the idea of going back home just to eat ice cream and listen to the same songs over and over. Well, I get lost in my imagination and sadness. I wouldn't have to go through all of this if I had never fallen in love with him. I hope I'll never see him again. I let out a small sigh as I clenched my fists slightly due to the helplessness I felt just remembering my ex-boyfriend's face. There's no use dwelling on this right now. At least I'm close. Finally, I'm here. Where am I? Do I, do I click on something? Apparently not. Huh. How odd. We agreed the meeting point was at the main entrance doors of the mall. Could he have left? Maybe he thought I would make it in the end, and the date would be cancelled. If that were the case, he would definitely message me through the app just to confirm whether we'd still have the date or not. Besides, at first glance, it doesn't seem like anyone is looking for someone else. What a waste of time. All I've done for the last 15 minutes is stand here waiting like an idiot. Perhaps I should walk around a bit to distract myself. That way, time will pass more quickly. You better text me soon to apologize for keeping me waiting, even though I'm the one who's late! <laughs> yeah, I'll just give him one chance. If only the dating app allowed us to make calls, I wouldn't be waiting like an idiot. I curse their stupid strike security code! Also, being a bit more realistic, 
I glanced at my phone, which was terribly damaged. The screen is cracked, the display is failing, the battery overheats, and many other things. I wouldn't be able to answer, even if I wanted to. This old, fa this old phone can barely get a signal in this place, and the worst part of all, I couldn't pay this month's plan. It's the first and only phone I've had. I really need an upgrade. Thankfully, the mall has Wi-Fi and I can avoid all that hassle. I let out a sigh as I opened the app to check the date's profile. Still nothing from him. What a dilemma. All this for a simple blind date. I'll wait for another five minutes. If he doesn't show up by then, yeah, I'm out of here. What the hell is that sound? Half an hour. I've been waiting for half an hour. I think it's... I think it's for the best if I don't even stay here anymore. I'm just waiting for someone who will never show up. Is that Espoir Duvid? What in the world? Ah, it's so hard for him to just send one single message. At least I would know he's still alive. I just don't want to think that something bad could have happened to him. Just because we agreed to meet in this place. It's not like he had a car accident. Or encountered a gang who tried to rob him. Or maybe he got killed because he was mistaken for someone else. Ah! What if he had an accident with a gang who tried to kidnap him and kill him? What, why do I have such an overreactive like imagination? Okay. Maybe I'm exaggerating. Ugh. It sounded really stupid. Damn it. I hate having anxiety. I should try not to overthink the situation right now. Things are just... Things like these are just extreme thoughts and sound ridiculous once you say it out loud. Paying attention to that is the worst thing I could do. I just need to clear in my mind and stop imagining nonsense once and for all. Huh. Cafe. Yes, I could take a little look. At least I'll be able to focus on something. The delay of my date! Also, I could treat myself to something sweet after waiting for a while. I deserve something tasty, at least. Whoa. I didn't expect it to be all cozy. I'll sit in the corner for now. One might expect something very simple for a small cafe like this, but it has everything necessary for a full establishment, and the interior design is so charming that it makes the place perfect. But despite having customers in such a lovely place, it's very odd that there are only three people. Usually these places are filled with people who would just die just to be near the entrance. You can tell they have a variety of sweets and pastries, also a bit expensive for what they offer. Could that be the reason why there aren't many people here? Yeah, I did bring as much money to spend within five minutes of entering a store. It's best to order a milkshake. They look delicious. They're cheap and I can take advantage of staying here for a while and enjoy the atmosphere. After waiting a couple minutes, a waitress approached to take my order. Es un gusto poder atenderle. Mi nombre es Cameron. Dígame, ¿qué le sirvo el día de hoy? It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Cameron. I'll be a waitress. So, tell me, what would you like to order? I would just like to know, why does the cafe have a waitress when it's very clearly self-service? Like, this layout, it kind of screams that you gotta pick up your own meals and such. But, you know what? I appreciate it nonetheless. I mean, like, you go, girl. The waitress said that with a somewhat irritated tone of voice while looking at me indifferently. Maybe making some small talk will cheer her up a bit. Um, everything on the menu sounds delicious, and honestly, I'd like to break the routine of ordering a simple coffee, you know? Mm -hmm. Okay, bad idea. The waitress's reaction of what I said only made the discomfort and awkwardness fill my body. I should finish this pitiful situation and order something random. I'm gonna take a Midori Delight. Please. Ma'am, please. Please! Stop making this awkward for me! Stop staring at me like that! I'm begging you! The waitress didn't change her expression. I just focused on writing down my order. Okay, it's a fantastic election. In a moment, I'll bring you a pedido. Okay, you've made a wonderful choice. I'll bring your order in a minute. Thank you. God, she sounded so done with me. I think I now understand why there's a, there isn't a lot of people in this place. There's like four of us here. Also, I can't judge that just by the way she treated me. After all, she didn't treat me poorly or insult me. 
it was just somewhat intimidating. I shouldn't even care so much about a waitress's attitude at this point. I probably have that same expression on my face almost every day, and nobody tells me anything. Disculpe. Uh, is she just, like, cussing up a, a storm back there? I uh, don't know. In the end, you can't really know what's going on with other people's lives and how it affects their mood. Most likely, she just had a bad day. Disculpe. Excuse me! I think I got so lost in my thoughts, I didn't even notice the fixed stare and furrowed brow of the waitress in front of me. ¿Me está escuchando? Le estoy diciendo que son cinco dólares. Are you ignoring me? I'm telling you, it's five dollars. Si no tiene dinero en efectivo para pagar por su pedido, también aceptamos tarjetas de crédito. Pero no crea que si da sin pagar por lo que pidió. Man, I will cuss you out, but YouTube's not gonna let me do that. If you don't have the cash to pay for a milkshake, we also take credit cards, but don't think you're gonna leave without paying for it. Yeah, I'm sorry. Here's the money for the milkshake. Uh, thank you very much, and please forgive me for all the inconvenience. Oh, that's the Midori Delight. What? What's that? Your game? Ew! After handing over the money, I took out my cell phone to start reviewing old conversations to pretend I was talking to someone. The waitress stared at me strangely for a couple seconds and then left. I sighed relief immediately. Man, kill me! I don't want to continue like this anymore! Despite everything that has happened so far, I think the day... It won't end as bad as I imagined. Ignoring everything that just happened, I took a small sip of the milkshake. Honestly, its taste is very peculiar. It's sweet with a smooth and fluffy texture. I would say it's one of the best milkshakes I've ever had. Also, it may sound silly. Just being able to taste it made my nerves disappear. Being at a slightly secluded table made everything more pleasant. I no longer had that ugly thought from before. I could only focus on watching people through the cafe's window, enjoying their day, relaxing, and letting go of the ongoing responsibilities. Disculpa. I wish... I, I was having a moment, Cameron! Could you please give me five minutes to just enjoy my goddamn majority delight? But whatever. Me and my big mouth. I turn my head, only to find a waitress walking towards me. Perhaps there's some issue with the payment. Uh, did something happen? Me pidieron que le trajera este pequeño regalo. Someone asked me to send it to you as a gift. She brought a small, beautifully decorated slice of strawberry cake ready to eat. Alongside it was a small folded yellow paper. Out of obvious curiosity, I opened it immediately. Oh. I'm sorry for coming this late. I genuinely apologize for not being brave enough to come over to your table so that I can apologize properly. I really hope that you still want to have this date with me. Who? Oh, also, why does it say Candy Bat up there? Wait. <laughs> Vaya. Uh, okay. Well, why are you laughing for? <laughs> Man, she's awful. If that's his way of apologizing, this is the most pathetic apology I've ever seen in my life. Without realizing it, I read the paper out loud. Ignoring my urge to die, I couldn't help but think uh, that what the waitress said was true, despite it being an inappropriate comment. <laughs> Wait. She shouldn't be here. Doesn't she have other customers who take the orders or something? <laughs> I simply watch her struggle not to laugh in my face due to my rather embarrassing situation. Excuse me, who said this? Ah, uh, sí. Fue el chico que está ahí. Ah, yeah. It's just that guy over there. I looked to where she was pointing. Most people here were either taking their orders to go or sitting for a while, eating then leaving. But that guy was the only one without an order and was occasionally looking directly at my table. When he realized I was looking at him, he quickly looked in another direction and pretended to be doing something else. Okay, that's very strange. Why would he send me this cake out of nowhere? Could it be a trap? But if what he wrote to the note is true, then that means he's my blind date. Ah, uh, at least he arrived. How do you know where I was? Oh, finally, my first... Ah, uh, what? I did not realize that it does this when I hover. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, how did he know where I was? How did he know where I was? Besides, how can I know if it's really him? He never called to confirm the exact place in the mall. Plus, the cafe is really far from the meeting point. 
We've only talked through chat, and I still haven't received any messages from him. Has he been following me all this time? It does seem like a potential danger from this distance, but I don't want to take the risk and end up in the news, my face all blurry with the headlines saying, Dead body full of bullets found an empty lot. Disculpa, ¿todo está bien? Uh, excuse me, is everything okay? Huh? Yeah, everything's fine. <laughs> totally fine. I don't know why you're worried. I said my voice trembling slightly. I could feel the fear taking hold of me. I immediately stood up from my seat to approach this guy. Although, I can't help but feel some fear from him. All of this is so strange that something isn't right. I can't make it obvious. I have to keep things under control if I want to keep this guy away from me. Without him noticing, I took his gift and threw it in the trash before reaching his table and sitting down. It's better not to give him the satisfaction of me accepting his apology. Oh! Hey, cutie! How's it going? Are you not gonna say anything? The guy just averted his gaze and fiddled with his hands, trying to ignore that I had just greeted him. It really gives me a bad feeling. I need to get out of here. Soon. I took a deep breath uh, to be able to speak as soon as possible to end this nightmare and block this weirdo for good. Listen, this was all a bad idea. Meaning a stranger... Is possibly the worst thing I could have done. I waited for you for such a long time and you never showed up. I even hoped you'd send me a message, but you did jack deadly. And now you just appeared out of nowhere and you knew exactly where I was? And to top it off, you buy me a jam cake as if that was enough to overlook all this. This guy seems nervous to the point of trembling with the nerves he surely felt. He tried to speak, but I didn't allow it. I didn't care that he was... I didn't care about what he was going to tell me, or if there's any explanation for this entire situation. I just want to get away from him as soon as I could. I only came here to tell you that I don't want to see you again. Just forget about me and my existence. And don't even think about following me. Believe me, I'll notice. And if you do, I'll call the police without any hesitation. Got it? If you really are who you say you are. I don't want to know more about you. Don't try to find me. And don't send me any more messages. I don't want to, nor do I intend to read the pathetic apologies of a sick person like you. So just stay away from me. I walk away from the place without bothering to look back at him. That guy. His behavior. I shook my head slightly and continued walking. I still don't feel confident enough to get back home. He might be following me, even though I threatened him. I enter the bookstore, still feeling afraid. I could sense that I was being watched. Because of that, I could hear my heart beating rapidly. My breathing became increasingly agitated, and my vision became somewhat blurry. I'm scared. I heard my phone ring a couple of times. I decided to take it out and see who was calling me. An unknown number. It's him. It must be him. But how does he have my number? Is he crazy? He's probably looking for me the moment I left the cafe. I knew his vibes were bad, but... Uh, a damn stalker? I quickly hung up the call and blocked the number to prevent him from calling me again. I hid among the bookshelves in the furthest section. I pretended to be looking for something among the books to avoid arousing suspicion. I just hope he doesn't find me. It seems I'm safe. For now. Thank goodness. Alright. Am I chill now? Am I chill? I think I'm chill. I felt my anxiety and fear slowly leave my body. Lion. This is the last time that you'll meet a stranger from a nap. It'd be better to find a way to escape them all without him noticing. But for now, I'll keep browsing these books. Maybe even buy a self-defense one in case I run into that guy again. Then I'll throw the book at him! That's how you use it for self-defense! <laughs> uh, suddenly, I felt a hand resting on my shoulder, causing me to jump a little. I turned around and saw a red-haired guy in front of me. It nearly gave me a heart attack. I thought it was the weirdo from the cafe. Perdóneme, pero ¿usted sabe dónde puedo encontrar el nuevo libro de Fox Hunter? ¿O ya se agotaron? Uh, excuse me, do, but do you know where I can find a new Fox Hunter book or have they sold out? 
Sir, sir, I I don't work here. I, I'm just here looking for a book to throw at a man who's possibly stalking me. Si ese es el caso, ¿podría decirme cuándo vendrían las próximas ediciones? If that's the case, could you tell me when the next editions will come? How would I know that? Only someone who were... Ah, I see what's going on here. Oh, this is awkward. Sorry, but I don't work here. Ay, disculpa. No me di cuenta. Es que llevas el mismo tipo de ropa a la de los empleados de este lugar. S sorry, I didn't realize. It's just that you're dressed like the employees here. How? I, I don't look like an employee of any institution. In fact, I'm pretty sure any store would like have a few eyebrows raised if like their employees are dressed like this. Like, what? The guy smiled a bit embarrassedly. But I didn't pay much attention to him. My mind is still on alert from the scare I had a while ago. Um, soy yo otra vez. Ah, it's me again. <laughs> no quiero molestarte o sonar grosero, pero te ves algo mal. I don't mean to bother you or sound rude, but you look a little off. ¿Te encuentras bien? ¿O hay algo en lo que te pueda ayudar? Are you okay? Or is there something I can help you with? Ah, uh, uh, this is a really weird line of questioning. I, I have my suspicions on you. I've got my eyes on you. I don't care how cute you are. I have my eyes on you. Help me. I really need to learn to be more subtle with my emotions. Also, thinking about it, maybe that weirdo will stay away from me if he sees me with someone else. Maybe that way I can finally get rid of him. But... I'm not sure if it's wise to tell another stranger what happened to that guy. Should I tell him or just pretend like nothing happened? Uh, you know what? I ain't gotta take the risk. This is, this is the complete antithesis of what I normally do when I play these games, but I'm gonna go down this route first. I shouldn't tell him anything. At this point, I can't take any more risk. Nothing's wrong, okay? Don't worry about me. <laughs> The guy looked at me attentively, with an expression of suspicion and confusion. Perhaps I'm wrong in not accepting help, but it's for the best. I don't want to be in danger anymore. Está bien. No tomaré más de tu tiempo, entonces. Cuídate. It's okay. I won't take any more of your time, then. Take care. I don't trust him. I do not trust him. I, I have a feeling he and the other guy were probably in cahoots. I don't even know his name yet. Is it Charlie? Which one's Charlie? I, I really need to know. The guy was clearly walking away, clearly seeking someone's help with the book he was looking for. The serene atmosphere of the bookstore gradually makes me forget about everything that happened. After all, it's been a while and the stalker hasn't reappeared or tried to kill me again. I might even consider buying a book. Some have caught my attention, particularly those about self-defense, which I could probably throw at him, especially the heavier ones. I didn't find, like, self-defense for dummies. Like, those are the thickest books. So, like, if I threw that at whoever that guy was, like, it, it would knock the wind out of his lungs. I picked one that seemed very interesting, but as I exited the section where I was, I accidentally bumped into someone, falling to the ground. Ah! Ay, no. ¿Te encuentras bien? Oh, it's you again! When I raised my gaze, I saw a tall guy with black hair extending his hand to help me. I'm fine. Sorry. I just didn't see you. <laughs> the way the guy had helped me and then had me closer only made my nerves escalate, so I moved away a bit, make him chuckle at what I said. No hay nada de qué disculparse. Fue mi error. Quizás no debía caminar tan rápido. Es solo que quería comprar un libro y no me di cuenta que había alguien aquí. I, I don't speak Spanish. There's not there's nothing to apologize for. It was my mistake. Maybe I shouldn't have walked so fast. I just wanted to buy a book and didn't realize someone was here. Dime, no te hice daño, o si? Tell me, I didn't hurt you. Or did I? Yeah, I'm fine, but I insist. It was entirely my fault. Should have paid more attention to my surroundings. I am really sorry. It's just that I have a lot on my mind. His expression suddenly changed, showing clear consent towards oh, me. ¿Te encuentras bien? Si algo malo te pasó, puedo tratar de ayudarte. What do you mean by that? Uh, are you okay? If something bad happened to you, I could try and help cheer you up a bit. Tal vez no sirva de mucho, pero podría tratar de hacerte algo de compañía y tal vez ayudarte a que puedas olvidar por un rato lo que te está inquietando. Sir, you, you, you just met me. What? Maybe it won't be much, but 
I could try to keep you company and maybe help you forget for a while what's bothering you. Or si solo quieres hablar, también puedes desahogarte conmigo de lo que sea que te haya sucedido. Or no juzgarte sin importar lo que pasó. Or if you just want to talk, you can also vent to me about whatever happened to you. I promise, I'm not gonna judge you, no matter what had happened. This guy was too attentive, but something about him intrigued me too much, as if it was something familiar. I mean, it could be the fact that he's wearing the same green hoodie from earlier. After a couple of seconds, I noticed that we were still holding hats, although it didn't seem to bother him at all. I quickly pulled my hat away and stepped back a bit. Excuse me, but I think I'll pay for this book and go back home. También, si lo prefieres, podría invitarte a comer. Also, if you prefer, I could invite you for a meal. He's being very pushy. No sería como una cita, pero al menos es una forma de pedirte disculpas luego de haberme chocado contigo de esa manera tan brusca. It wouldn't be like a date, but at least it's a way to apologize for bumping into you in such a rough way. Okay, that sounded a bit strange. Además, podría servirte para olvidar tus problemas un rato. Plus, it might help you forget your problems for a while. ¿Qué dices? ¿Aceptas? What would you say? Would you be up for that? Uh, are you... Why, why don't I have any other choice? Are you up for it? Sure, why... I, why, why is that? I, uh, why do I not have a choice to say no? Frick, why not? Perfecto. Why not? Te acompaño que pagues tu libro y nos vamos. Perfect. Let's go pay for your book and then we'll leave. And then I'll throw it at your face. He seems harmless. And if something strange happened, I'll just run and shout to the nearest security guard. What about the book? Make sure it's the heaviest one you can find. In fact, make him pay for it so he can throw it back in his face. As we walked together towards the cashier, he seemed notably cheerful. As if he had won the lottery or gotten something he had wanted for a while now. Could inviting a stranger for a meal be the most exciting thing that's happened in his life? That's really sad. When paying for my book, he offered to carry it for me. Which was a bit silly, as if it wasn't that heavy, but... I suppose he's trying to be a gentleman or something like that. At times, I glanced at him and I caught myself staring at him oddly, but it seemed not to bother him. He simply smiled and continued walking towards the food court. Are you serious? He, he just dropped the hoodie down to his... Comer? So, what would you like to eat? And hang on, hang on. Literally, MC, all he did was drop the hoodie off his shoulders. That's all he did. You can't tell me that these two are different people. I might be wrong, though. I might be wrong, and y'all are probably laughing at me for, like, having face blindness or something. But whatever. Whatever. So, what would you like to eat? Vez algún dulce? Los helados de pop-up son una gran opción. Aunque también podrías ordenar algún postre en la Oaxaqueña. Pero si quieres comer alguna otra cosa, podrías probar algo de Queen Bee. Tienen una de las mejores hamburguesas que he probado. My God, you are such a chatterbox. Perhaps something sweet? The ice creams and uh, pop-ups are a great choice. Is that a reference to... Is that a reference to Sunny Day Jack? The ice cream at Pop-Ups are a great choice. Also, you could also order a dessert at La Oaxaquina. But if you like something else, you could try something from Queen Bee. They have some of the best burgers I've ever eaten. Tú solo pide. Yo invito. Just order what you want. My tree. The stomach pain hit me against what when he suggested something sweet. I might only imagine the face of the guy from the cafe and his stupid gift. Honestly, I didn't have any appetite for something like that. In fact, I wouldn't even want to think about something that reminds me of that guy. Oh, I don't really feel like having something sweet, you know. How about something spicy? You think you could recommend something good with that? Claro, adoro lo picante. Vuelvo enseguida a ese justo lugar donde pidieron unas buenas salitas picantes. Of course, I love spicy food. I'll be right back. I know just the place to get some great spicy wings. His reaction was quite unexpected. He was overly excited, as if I had reached his mind. Before leaving, he handed me my book and happily went to get the food. Finally, my weapon of choice! I waited for him for about 10 minutes, and what the many available tables in the place, I couldn't help but remain alert. Even though some time had passed, I could shake out the thought that the guy from the cafe might still be looking for me around the place. Uh, while I looked around to make sure the cafe stranger wasn't nearby, the other guy returned, startling me a bit as he spoke from behind my shoulder. ¿Se te perdió algo o alguien? Did you lose something or someone? <laughs> Once I turned around, I noticed he was also scanning the area, as if he was trying to help me find what I was looking for. 
I chuckled a bit at his exaggerated scanning of the place, realizing how silly it was to feel that way right now. After all, if the weird guy dared to approach me, I could ask this guy to help me with him. You can tell just by looking at him with a single punch, he could send you straight to the morgue. <laughs> I didn't lose anyone or anything. I just thought, I just thought you left for the food and left me all here by my lonesome. He looked surprised for a moment. Then chuckled at my comment. Sé que dije que adoraba lo picante, pero no es para tanto. Mira, aquí te traje este combo especial para ti y solo para ti. I know I said I love spicy food, but I'm not. But it's not that I'm obsessed with it. Here, I got you this special combo, just for you. He slides a box filled with spicy wings, along with some fries and various dressings. While I devour one wing after another, the guy simply watched me eat attentively. As if enjoying my company without needing anything in return. However, I noticed something. So, what were you doing at the bookstore? You didn't buy anything after bumping into me. I thought you were going to buy a book you saw in the window. What happened? He blushes a bit as he looks directly into my eyes and takes my free hand on the table. Pues, en realidad, no quería exactamente un libro, ¿sabes? Well, actually, I didn't exactly want a book, you know. Te vi a través del ventanal de la librería y me llamaste la atención, pero no tenía una buena excusa para hablarte, así que entré para ver si podía al menos ayudarte a buscar un libro y así conversar sin parecer un rarito. I saw you through that window and you caught my attention, but I didn't have a good excuse to talk to you, so I went inside to see if I could at least help you find a book and start a conversation without seeming like a weirdo. Sin embargo, por estar muy apresurado, choqué sin querer contigo. However, in my haste, I accidentally bumped into you. No pensé que así sería la forma en la que nos conoceríamos. Me vi como un idiota haciéndote caer al suelo de esa forma. Y realmente me disculpo por eso. It even crossed my mind that this would be the way we'd meet. I feel like an idiot making you fall like that, and I truly apologize for it. He smiled again and chuckled after saying that, seeming unembarrassed by anything that had happened. Despite his somewhat silly response, it was really genuine more than I expected. I really wish he I really wish he were my date. As I felt him gently squeeze my hand, I couldn't help mo I couldn't help but notice his eyes. In fact, I hadn't noticed the difference in color until now. He's quite unique. Por cierto, mi nombre es Charles. Un gusto conocerte, calabacita. By the way, my name is Charles. Pleasure to meet you, pumpkin. Pumpkin? Yeah, okay, that's new. No one in my life has ever called you that. No one in my life has ever called me that in such a peculiar way. But I guess, at this point, it doesn't matter. I'll just ignore it for now. Besides, it's not an ugly nickname, so who cares? I like your name. Ha! Mine is Lion. Pero que nombre tan bonito. Suena tan único y fascinante. Al igual que tú. What a beautiful name. It sounds so unique and fascinating. Just like you. I couldn't help but blush instantly at hearing him say that. My name wasn't anything special, but somehow hearing him say something like that just made my nerves come back. While well, he stared into my eyes, I briefly looked at my phone and got a bit startled at the time. If I did leave soon, I'd be very late getting home. I'm sorry, I have to go. Thanks for the meal, Charles. Maybe we could hang out another day. Get off your number? I saw him hesitate for a moment and step back a bit, perhaps still not thinking I needed to leave so soon from here. However, he spoke again after releasing a sigh, now having a somewhat more serious look than before. Uh, me encantaría, pero ahora mismo no lo tengo conmigo. Lo olvidé en mi casa sin querer antes de venir aquí. <laughs> I would love to, but I don't have it with me right now. I accidentally left it at home before coming here. Pero si te parece bien, puedes darme tu número. Prometo que te escribiré una vez llegue, ¿sí? But if it's okay for you, could you give me your number? I promise to text you once I get back, alright? Ah, well, that's fine. I didn't make much of it and simply wrote my number on his hand with a pen I had in my pocket. After taking my book and saying goodbye, I hit as quickly as possible towards the exit. Oh, we're outside. Great. Seems that my bad luck found me again. I saw some people taking refuge from the rain under nearby buildings. However, not having anything to cover myself with, I couldn't just run to the metro station was too far away and I wouldn't want to catch a cold just from running in the rain for a week. While pondering what to do, I heard a familiar voice behind me. <laughs> Necesitas ayuda? <laughs> Need a hand? 
I turned around and saw him with an umbrella in hand and a white smile on his face. Charles. Veo que aún no terminamos nuestra nosita. Seems like our not date isn't over yet. <laughs> es broma, pero ya fuera de juegos. <laughs> Just kidding. But seriously. Si quieres puedo ayudarte con este amiguito. Aunque eso significa acompañarte a tu casa. If you want to, I can help you out with this little guy. That means walk you back home. Claro, solo si te parece bien. Of course, only if you're okay with it. He showed me an umbrella he had in his hand, waiting for my response. This is really convenient. It's a bit scary. Wait, did he already have the umbrella with him? I hadn't noticed it before, or maybe I didn't pay enough attention. Setting aside all these uncertainties, I realized he was still staring at me, waiting for an answer. I feel like I don't have another option. If I decline, I'll have to walk in the rain and I'll probably end up catching a cold. I couldn't just simply not go to work now. I really need the money. Entonces... So... Aceptas, or... You okay with that, or...? Tienes que darte aquí y seguir esperando que la lluvia pare. Aunque no parece que eso vaya a ocurrir pronto, si me lo preguntas. Would you rather stay here and keep waiting for the rain to stop? So, it doesn't really seem like that's going to happen soon, if you ask me. I nodded while rolling my eyes, approaching him as we exited the mall, ready to share the umbrella and shield ourselves from the rain. We walked silently in the rain. He seemed to enjoy the scenery, maintaining a calm expression on his face while holding the umbrella handle. Right. I feel the need to clarify things. I feel like if I don't, this guy will end up inviting himself to my apartment or something like that. It takes me a moment to decide to speak. Listen, I don't want you to misunderstand things. I don't want you to accompany me home or anything like that. I'd, I'd be content if you just walk me to the train station, okay? He smiles at me, looking absolutely surprised and disappointed by what I've just said. Oh, pero parecía que ya éramos muy cercanos. Oh, but it seemed like we were already so close. Digo, después de todo, estamos demasiado juntos bajo el paraguas ahora mismo. No I creo. will, I will shove you into the rain. I swear to God. I mean, after all, we're so close under the umbrella right now, don't you think? The sarcasm in his tone was too evident when he said that. But it was true. Now they mentioned it. It was embarrassing. Sharing an umbrella meant we had to be very close. I could even feel his body heat, and at times, my hand brushed against his hip. He blushes a bit, but doesn't take his eyes off me. No te preocupes, lo entiendo. Solo estoy bromeando y molestándote un rato. <laughs> you know, I don't know how to feel about the fact that ever since I met this guy, I just had no choice whatsoever. Like, the no options whatsoever. I just pissed the first guy. I just told the first guy to piss off. I told the second guy to piss off. And as for you, I have no choice whatsoever. What the hell? Don't worry. I get it. I'm just joking and teasing you a bit. No debes darle tanta importancia. Además, tengo otras cosas que hacer algo lejos de aquí de todas formas. Pero al menos disfruto de este momento y de serte útil de alguna manera. You shouldn't take it too seriously. Besides, I have other things to do. Somewhere far away from here anyway. But I'm at least enjoying this moment and being useful in some way to you. Being useful? He refers to helping me with the umbrella. It was helpful, but it's not that big of a deal. As he walked, we kept bumping into each other. Although he tried not to make it too obvious, his embarrassed expression said it all. I felt my cheeks blush a bit. I had to admit that having him closer allowed me to appreciate just how attractive he was. However, I could see him smiling in a somewhat mischievous way and slowly getting closer to my face. Hey, yo, we are not close like that! This caught me by surprise, causing me to slip accidentally. Fortunately, before falling completely, he grabbed my hand to prevent me from hurting myself. Once I stood up again, I saw him chuckle a little. <laughs> en serio, eres algo especial, calabacita. <laughs> You're really something else, Lion. Solo estoy molestándote. No te tomes las cosas tan en serio. Solo es una bromita de amigos, ¿sí? I'm just teasing. Don't, th don't take things too seriously. It's just a friendly joke, all right? Aunque si con una simple broma reaccionas así, será mejor que te vigile muy bien. But if you react like that to a simple joke, I better keep a close eye on you. This means nothing. You were the one who got too close to me without warning, and at a very bad time. He notices my annoyance and decides to keep walking as if none of that had happened. Although, he never removes that smile on his face. After a couple of meters, he seems a bit restless as if he had a constant thought bothering him. 
I touch his shoulder to snap him out of it, and he smiles again. Perhaps he has too many things to deal with. That reminded me. He said he had something far away to do. Maybe it was getting late for him, and he's just kindly accompanying me. Is something bothering you? I know it's not my business, but if you have something to do, it's better to continue your path and not be late for that. No, it's para tanto. Solo tengo muchas cosas en mi cabeza últimamente que aún no puedo descifrar. Es algo tonto en realidad. It's not that big of a deal. I just have a lot on my mind lately, and I that I can't decipher. It's actually silly. Además, no tengo tanta urgencia de ir ahí. Solamente es una reunión familiar o algo por el estilo. Plus, I'm not in such a hurry to go there. It's just a family gathering or something like that. Si te soy honesto, realmente no me importa. If I'm honest with you, I really don't care. Family gathering? Well, I have nothing to do with that. Luckily, we're just a couple of blocks away from my metro. So if you want, you can leave me here and go to your meeting. ¿Qué? No, no, no. Te acompañaré hasta que estés dentro de la estación. Así al menos sabré que estás en un lugar seguro. My guy, I, I just need to get to the station, that's all. What? No, no, no. I'll accompany you until you're inside the station. That way, at least I know you're in a safe place. Es lo mínimo que puedo hacer. Piensa que hago esto como el cuidado de un ángel guardián. I just think of you as an annoying imp. It's the least I can do. Think of it as me being a guardian angel. Did he just say guardian angel? Oh, cringe. <laughs> he doesn't even let me process his response. I immediately winks teasingly. He laughs again without taking his eyes off of me. <laughs> Realmente es divertido pasar tiempo contigo. No me había divertido así en mucho tiempo. God, it's really fun spending time with you. I haven't had this much fun in a long time. Espero y esta no sea la última vez que nos veamos, eh, calabacita. I hope this isn't the last time we see each other, eh, lion. Te estaré escribiendo para ver cuando volvemos a salir. I'll be texting you to arrange another outing. Right, I gave him my phone number. I had completely forgotten about that. I didn't want to rush things, so I thought about my response without realizing that we had already arrived at the metro station gates. He quickly speaks up. Sabes? Mejor quédatelo. Así tendré una mejor excusa para volver a verte y asegurarme de que volveremos a salir. You know what? Keep it that way. I'll have a better excuse to see you again and make sure we go out again. Además de que la lluvia aún no ha parado y seguramente lo necesitarás luego. Plus, the rain hasn't stopped yet and you'll probably need it later. Trata de no perderlo, ¿sí? Try not to lose it, okay? I'm putting it in the trash immediately. I'm kidding. I'm, I'm gonna keep this. He takes my hand and hands me the umbrella, smiles once more, and before leaving, he briefly touches my cheek before running off, laughing. I'll care about getting wet in the rain. Nos vemos! Until next time! I touched my cheek for a moment. I could feel myself blushing. Why would you blush? Why? The guy, the guy just walked you to the metro. In fact, no, he didn't just walk you to the metro. He insisted on that. Gave you his umbrella. That was it. You had no choice on the matter. With what? I guess he really did care about taking shelter from the raid. I just watched as he disappeared among the people and the fog of the place. I see the umbrella in my hand in complete silence. Perhaps I should return it, but I really had no choice. I shouldn't have, I shouldn't even give him an answer. What's for sure is that we will definitely see each other again. Now there's something that guarantees that encounter. I smiled a bit, thinking I'll see Charles again. If it doesn't help, at least I have a free spare umbrella. After entering the metro and buying my ticket home, I could see the rain was... I could see that the train was about to leave in a few minutes. Not again! When will they fix this? The, the schedule! Better run if I want to get home. You don't need to run if it- what? Why? Are we home? This has been a day with a roller coaster of emotions. I just hope that things from now on will be calmer. I don't want any more surprises. I decide to uninstall the dating app and delete all information I shared with that jerk. I don't want to cross paths with him again in, in my life. It's enough knowing he's in the same city. But even though I wanted to block him, I didn't even know his name. Huh. But he doesn't know mine either. We only knew each other by our nicknames on the app. But I don't think that's enough for him to find me. At least that reassures me a bit. Now that I even think about it. Charles. I hope he didn't catch a cold because of me. Maybe I should have taken the Maybe I should have taken the umbrella, but by his actions, it seemed like he wanted to walk with me for a while and make sure I was okay. Unconsciously, I placed my hand on my cheek. 
Letting out a slight sigh as I left the umbrella beside the couch and headed to my room to finally get some sleep. It's time for me to go to sleep. Tomorrow, I have to go pay my cell phone bill. Also, I feel like I'm forgetting something. Is there going to be someone outside my window? Well, it can't be that important. I let out a small yawn before silencing my phone and placing it on the nightstand, connecting it to charge fully by the morning. Now, off to dreamland. Turning off the lights, I slowly made my way to bed. God, I'm exhausted. I began to snuggle into my sheets and hug my plushies. Feel like I could fall asleep at any moment. I heard my phone vibrate a couple of times insistently, so I decided to pick it up for a moment to see what was going on. Huh? A message from an unknown number. Hey, Plumpkin. It's Charles. I just finished all my errands to remember it, you and my umbrella. Yeah. Tell me, would you like to go out tomorrow? Maybe we could have dinner or something fun. This time, you're treating for the wings. Just kidding. <laughs> I'll be waiting for you at the train station today. Hope to see you there. It's just him. For a moment, I thought it was something else. It's quite straightforward, all over a simple umbrella. Goodness. My eyes are too heavy to reply right now. Maybe I'll respond tomorrow. Alright. I have a bad feeling about this. Ah! Why? That made no sense at all! Why? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I think I startled you. Me dejé llevar por un momento. Es que ya estás por irte, ¿no? I got carried away for a moment. It's just that you're about to leave, right? Bueno, de todas formas, te veré pronto, calabacita. Dulces sueños. Well, anyway, I'll see you soon, pumpkin. Sweet dreams. Estoy encantado de conocerte. I'm so delighted to meet you. Estaré esperándote, mi amor. I'll be waiting for you, my love. Right, you know what? Just for the jump scare, I'm gonna take the risk with this dude, because why not? I think I'm gonna take the risk. It's the best thing to do at this point, actually. I took a deep breath as he kept looking at me with an expression that only showed concern. I made the worst decision of my life. The day I came to meet my date, and well, it's basically a stranger I met online and he's harassing me. But seriously, I thought, no, I felt that I knew enough about him to meet in person. Never imagined this would happen. Also, I told him not to dare to follow me or contact me. Just a moment ago, got a call from an unknown number, and I'm sure he's looking for me in the mall right now. The guy's expression changed immediately when he heard me say all that. Es en serio? No, no te preocupes, sí. Puedo acompañarte para que no te pase nada. Seriously? Don't worry, okay? I, I can accompany you so that nothing happens to you. While he was saying that, he looked around as if he was making sure no one was trying to approach us, or rather, me. I definitely felt a bit better seeing that this guy didn't plan to do anything weird with me. I could feel how I slowly started to feel relief thanks to his company. He seemed like someone who genuinely tries to help a person in trouble instead of just ignoring them and going about their day like everyone else. Por cierto, olvidé presentarme. Me llamo Jeremy. You know what? You know what? I like you, Jeremy. You're, you're, you're the one I like the most so far. I haven't gotten a date with, like, the first guy yet, but still, still, I like you the most. By the way, I forgot to introduce myself. My name is Jeremy. He extended his hand towards me, expecting me to return the greeting. With a small smile, I shook his hand. Despite having doubted him at first, I had to admit that thanks to his company, I could feel a little safer. Nice to meet you, Jeremy. My name's Lion. Really appreciate your help with all this. <laughs> No hay de qué. No me parece correcto ignorar a una persona que está en un potencial peligro. Es un gusto ayudarte. <laughs> You're welcome, Lion. I don't think it's right to ignore someone who might be in danger. It's a pleasure to help you. The guy smiles sweetly as he continues to browse through some books, attentive in case someone gets too close, occasionally touching my shoulder to signal that I should move closer to him in case he suspects someone. Why? 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 Charles! Why? Charles! No! Charlie! Charlie, stop! Charlie! I don't speak Spanish! Stop this! <laughs> Just give me a moment. I watch as he answer the call without moving too far away from my side, pretending to search for some books at, to at least try to ignore what he was talking about. It's probably something urgent and he might have to leave. 
spell at least have some time to figure out how to escape from this place. Genial. Me llamaron del trabajo. Great. They need me at my job again. Don't worry. Anyway, I have to get back home before it gets too late. Thank you for taking the trouble to help me with... Well, you know. No, no. No me refería que ya me debía ir. No, no. I didn't mean that I should leave now. ¿Qué pasa si ese tipo aún te está buscando? No, no lo permitiré. No me importa si me regañan por llegar tarde. No me apartaré de ti hasta que estés a salvo. Why if that guy is still looking for you? No, I won't allow it. I don't care if I get scolded for being late. I won't leave you until you're safe. Así que... ¿Me permitirías acompañarte a casa? O al menos dejarte cerca de ahí? So, would you allow me to accompany you home? Or at least drop you off nearby? It was clear that he was genuinely concerned over my well-being. Damn it. Why the hell wasn't he my blind date? I'm the unluckiest person in the world. I did not match with a damn stalker and not someone kind and gentle like Jeremy. Yay! This is undoubtedly the worst day of my new life in this place. At least Jeremy makes it not so terrible. And even though it's very contradictory of me to walk away from a stranger and then be with another stranger and let this person take care of me and even consider letting him, eat, letting him take me home, I feel that at least Jeremy is not a bad person and doesn't seem to pose any harm to me unlike the other sick guy. It gives me confidence and security. Thank you! I... I suppose you could accompany me to the metro station. I still don't trust him! Not entirely! Oh. Lion! I thought Jeremy was a good person, not someone weird like the guy at the cafe. And he is, but I don't want to tempt my luck at this point. I better stop thinking about all this. It seems like I'm having an internal monologue like when I was in high school. I grabbed myself a self-defense book and along with Jeremy, we went to pay for our respective books at a cash register. And he made sure no one got too close to me. Upon leaving the bookstore, Jeremy and I started talking a bit about how I ended up in this situation. Mainly because I still felt someone was following me, and honestly, the conversation might help me ignore that horrible feeling for a moment. I tried to explain everything that had happened in my previous city and the disaster caused by my ex-boyfriend so that he would understand why I decided to start my new life here. At this part, he started to explain why he had been called before work, and why this was already routine for him, but at one point, he changed the subject. Oh, yeah. Sé que esto sonará raro, y puedes decir que no si te incomoda, pero... Si ese tipo aún está por aquí, sería bueno que sepa que alguien te acompaña, como tu novio o algo así. Hey, I know this might sound weird, and you can say no if it makes you uncomfortable, but... If that guy is still around, it would be good for him to know that someone is with you, like your boyfriend or something. I immediately furrow my brow. Is he trying to imply something? No, no es lo que piensas. Solo digo que podríamos tomarnos de la mano. Así podría asegurarme que sigues conmigo por si algo sucede. He is such a cutie! What the hell? That's not what I meant. I just meant that we could hold hands, so I can make sure you're still with me if something happens. Well, that's a bit cliche, but I guess it would be okay. After all, it's to keep that weirdo away from me. I nodded slightly and gently took Jeremy's hand, intertwining his fingers with mine to feel a bit more secure. The way to the subway station was very peaceful and better than I expected. Jeremy continued to explain to me how it worked. They would often ask him to cover shifts for his colleagues because it was tough being a bartender. He told me that despite genuinely liking his job, dealing with all kinds of people every night could be somewhat stressful. However, before parting ways, he gave me a business card with the bar's address, his name, and his phone number, making sure I could call or drop by whenever I wanted. Besides that, he asked me to try texting him once I get home, wanted to ensure everything was okay once I boarded the metro. I quickly saved his number and assured him I would do so before leaving. The strange guy didn't show up again, nor did I receive any other weird calls on my way home. Either way, I wouldn't have any means of being contacted, and if he tried something, I could trust telling Jeremy what was going on and he would surely help me solve it. I let out a sigh and simply waited to reach my destination. Hmm. Things are fine. Things are fine. I have a feeling something's gonna happen now. It's home sweet home. Alright, I should write to Jeremy that I arrived without any trouble. Hey Jeremy, arrived home a moment ago. Seriously, thank you so much for everything you did for me today. You're probably working right now, so I'll stop writing to avoid bothering you. Have a good night and rest when you get home, okay? Goodbye. I'm starving. 
Better find something to eat for dinner. I tucked my phone into my pocket and let out a small sigh. Despite being hungry, it was already too late and I really didn't have the energy after everything that happened today. I'll just have something light and head straight to bed. I placed my new book on the kitchen counter and headed to the fridge. Ah. Huh. <sighs> oh no. Are you kidding me? How did I forget to buy groceries? What am I gonna eat now? Um, you could just have whatever that strange bottle is in there. Whatever. More sleepy than hungry anyway. Tomorrow morning, I'll go buy groceries. Besides, I could invite Jeremy. I don't think he'd mind accompanying me. Right. Upon entering my room, I changed out my clothes and put on my pajamas to get ready for bed. I let out a small yawn before placing my phone on the nightstand and plugging it in so the battery will be fully charged by morning. So sleepy. Can't stay awake anymore. As I turn on my lights, I slowly approach my bed. Oh, God, the exhaustion. I begin to nestle into my sheets and hug my stuffed animal, feeling like I could fall asleep at any moment. I wonder if Jeremy was kind to me because he genuinely needed to help. Maybe he did because he wanted something from me. I shook my head slightly. It's better not to dwell on that. After all, I just want to make friends. My eyes feel heavier and heavier. Not sure if I can hold them for much longer. Good night. Oh, no, 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 don't you dare. No, 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 S sir, sir, sir. No, 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 stay away. No, get out, get out, get out. No, 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 you are not allowed. Nope, it's sleepy time. It's not, no, no. Fine, fine, I'm a go date with this guy, like whoever he is, I, I really don't care. At least he arrived. At least he arrived. After an hour and a half of delay, of course. I took the cake at the milkshake as I stood up to head over to the table where my supposed date was. I could see him fiddling with his hands as he looked out the window. Trying to pretend he hadn't seen me. Is he really that nervous about all this? It seemed like he gave a small sigh when he start when he heard me slide my things onto the table, even though it was obvious I was coming over here. It's very odd. Hey, it's nice to finally meet you. You look very much like the other guy, except for the fact you've got a beanie and you don't have heterochromia. I tried to extend my hand to greet him. However, he just kept looking elsewhere while attempting to reciprocate the greeting. Poor thing. He was so nervous, he couldn't stop shifting in his seat. Is he really that excited to meet me? What's wrong? Can't you speak, or are you scared of me? Relax, I don't bite. <laughs> Upon hearing my attempt at joking of him, his expression immediately changed, displaying a tender and apprehensive look, coupled with a faint smile. <laughs> um... Lo siento. <laughs> um... I'm sorry. Es que... Realmente estaba reuniendo el valor para para poder disculparme por la tardanza. Isn't this the same guy? The, vo the voice acting sounds very similar. It's just that this guy sounds like you know a, a kind of squeakier, like mainly from being nervous. I I'm I'm wondering if this is the same guy. It's just that I was actually really gathering the courage to to apologize for being late. Eso fue muy grosero de mi parte y realmente. Lo siento. Espero puedas disculparme. That was very rude of me, and I'm really, really sorry. I hope you can forgive me. When he finished speaking, he once again averted his gaze, perhaps out of the lingering shame for keeping me waiting all this time, and realizing that during this entire period, all he's done is trying to face his fears to speak to me. I feel sorry for him, but it makes me a bit uncomfortable. Still, this could have been avoided if he had just told me he was being late. At least we're here now. As I looked at him, I noticed his expression becoming increasingly uneasy, and the surrounding silence only made the situation worse. Why does he act this way? Despite being kind to him, he still can't talk to me or look at me. I know he feels bad, but at least he could say something. I let out a small sigh of frustration I was feeling. This is really complicated. I don't want to hurt his feelings, but I don't want to lie and pretend everything's perfect. After all, showing up out of the blue, apologizing about a cake, won't make me forget his lack of commitment. It's better to tell him the truth. 
Uh, what, why, this is getting weird, don't worry, I'm gonna make another save, cause why not? Uh, you know what, I'm, I'm just gonna say this is getting, this is getting weird. This is getting weird. Honestly, I don't feel comfortable with all this. The guy looked up from the chair, um, with a clear confusion on his face, but didn't respond to what I just said. Judging by his attitude, seems like he's not willing to continue the conversation, or his nerves are so overwhelming that he doesn't know what to say. Plus, so far, he's just apologized and that's it. He doesn't even try to talk to me. God, what did I get myself into? The thing is, how do you know I'm the person you're looking for? As soon as I said that, his hands start shaking rapidly. With clumsy movements, he grabs a backpack next to him and starts searching for something inside. Okay... This is getting scary now. After a few seconds, he took out his cell phone from the backpack. He slowly slid his phone towards me and tapped the screen a couple times, indicating that I should see something there. Hesitating a bit, I took the cell phone. I want to end this once and for all so I could leave. Okay. He was saying the truth on the note he sent me. He's my date. On his phone screen was a dating app, specifically my profile bio. I opened a chat and found a conversation we had in the last few days. Okay, it is you. When I gave him back his phone, I could see he was a little bit more relaxed, yet I still had a doubt. You never texted me all this time. In fact, the cafe is far from where we're supposed to meet. How did you even find me here? Those are your eyes. <laughs> Badu. Así que dime, ¿te gustó el pastel? Elegí el de fresa porque es mi sabor favorito. Así it, que supuse que también te podría gustar. It is the same guy. What the hell? So, tell me, did you like the cake? I chose strawberry because it's my favorite flavor. So I figure you might like it too. Huh? What just happened? This is weird. I feel a void in my head. Maybe I dissociated for a moment. Or I fell asleep and my eyes open again. Perhaps it must be my imagination. I better not dwell on it. I turned to my date who was smiling at me. Do they look a bit different? They, they, they look a bit different now, don't they? Wait, did they ask me something? Damn, I should stop getting so distracted. Uh, what did you say? And confusion makes them laugh, revealing their fangs. Although many people cons might consider that a flaw, it's really something cute about them. While trying to calm down his laughter, he looked directly into my eyes. Hablaba del pastel, cielo. ¿Te gustó? I was talking about the cake, sweetie. Did you like it? Sweetie? Does it mean is he trying to flirt with me? Even though that flatters me a lot, this situation is definitely making my nerves get to my head. Why would he behave? Ah, I forgot! He doesn't know that I use the dating app to meet other people and not because I want to find a partner. Surely he wants to try to have something more serious with me. God, I need to clarify things as soon as possible before this gets way worse. Well, I thought it was a nice gesture on your part. Also, it wasn't necessary for you to buy it for me. But don't take it the wrong way. Seriously, it's really nice they took this trouble to get me this. Me alegra que te gustara. Este lugar hace los mejores pasteles de fresa en la ciudad. I'm glad you like it. This place makes the best strawberry cakes in town. I'd like to share it with you. It's the least I could do to save you the trouble. He shook his head, declining my offer to share his gift with a lovely smile on his face. Darn it. Surely he's doing it because he wants to be chivalrous with me. I'm see it now. Uh, cierto... By the way, he unexpectedly interrupts me when I looked up. I could see a slight confusion on his face. Yeah? Hay algo que quieras decirme? Is there something you want to tell me? Yeah, screw off! Ex excuse me? Oh, lo digo por la expresión en tu cara. Pareciera que quieres decirme algo. Ah, I say that because of the expression on your face. It seems you want to tell me something. Dime, ¿hay algún asunto que te moleste? Tell me, is there something bothering you? How did he notice? Really, I gotta learn to be more subtle with my emotions. Maybe this guy's just really good at reading my face that no matter how hard I try, he'll know I want to say something. Well, the truth is, that doesn't matter. I set aside the cake and my shake for a moment, trying to get a bit more confidence. I must tell him the truth without thinking about a possible reaction and consequences he might have. Don't take this the wrong way, but... The dating app we met through? Okay, con eso. Yeah? What about it? Well, I, uh... Actually, I don't use it, nor do I plan to use it to find a partner. I only downloaded it to make new friends and try to forget about what happened with my ex-boyfriend and... I know it's really silly and stupid, but I hope you understand. He immediately frowned, as if he truly didn't understand what I just said. 
Perhaps he was really disappointed in me for not making the situation clear from the start. Hey, guy? Big guy glitch again? Silence grew and only made my w nerves worse. Was it really that bad to say that I wasn't looking for a partner? I just kept eating. <laughs> Suddenly, I heard him trying to hold back his laughter. But what? <laughs> what kind of reaction is that? Is he angry? Whatever it is, it's just making me more anxious. When I get home, I'll change my bio to just looking for friends to avoid this problem in the future. Disculpame, no quería reaccionar así. Es que realmente no entiendo por qué piensas que me ofendería solo porque no quieres tener pareja en este momento. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to react like that. I just really don't understand why you think I would be offended just because you don't need a partner right now. Es algo totalmente comprensible. Y si solo quieres que seamos simples amigos o conocidos, está bien. No es necesario que me des explicaciones. It's completely understandable. And if you just want to be simple friends or acquaintances, that's fine. You don't need to explain anything. Después de todo, es tu vida, ¿no es así? No importa lo que yo opine. Lo importante es lo que tú quieres hacer con ella. After all, it's your life, right? No matter what I think, what's important is that it's what you want to do, Ben. Are you serious? Muy en serio. It's absolutely. No pienses tanto en eso, ¿sí? Don't dwell too much about it, okay? Yeah, thank you. That, uh, is the nicest thing someone has said to me so far. I really didn't expect that. Even though he seems a bit strange, he seems to be a good person. He just smiled at me again, as if that was his way of showing his appreciation and support for me. Hey, if you don't mind, I'd like to get to know you better. Would you like to hang out again sometime? What I said surprised him a lot. Perhaps he was expecting a different response from me. Maybe asking to take it slow or suggesting we take some time before going out again. I think it's best to stay in touch with him. It feels like he's the support I've been waiting for all this time to start my new life in the city. Besides, his reactions are so appealing that I couldn't forget him even if I wanted to. It's like each of his actions is made by a slightly audacious lamb. Although I couldn't help but notice something. That he's glitching? My head feels light again. Better not pay attention to it. I notice how he looks surprised by my question about staying in touch. However, his finger kept rapidly moving on the table. As if he had a life on its own or something. Is it normal that your finger moves like that, or... All he does is glance at his head and quickly clasp his index finger with the other. Oh, lo siento. Supongo que me emocioné. <laughs> uh, Definitivamente es un sí. Me encantaría que nos siguiéramos conociendo. Uh, sorry. I think I got a little carried away. <laughs> Definitely a yes. I love to keep getting to know each other. Perfect. I'd better... My spoon hitting the plate, making me st suddenly stop talking. Looking down, I saw there was no more cake without realizing it. And all this time we were talking, I finished all the cake along with my shake. It's clear that I don't know how to share when it comes to food. How oh, embarrassing. Yeah, I'm sorry. I know I said I would share the cake with you, but I got carried away by the taste. I promise to make it up to you next time we go out. No te preocupes. Después de todo, yo compré el pastel como una forma de disculpa. Así que se podría decir que estamos a mano. No worries. After all, I bought the cake as an apology, so you could say we're even. Además, con solo salir contigo una próxima vez, me parece más que suficiente. Besides, just going out with you another time is more than enough. <laughs> I breathed a sigh of relief. I really didn't think it. I really didn't think I'd be so kind and gentle. I glanced over my shoulder at the clock hanging on the other side of the place. But I saw the time. My stomach churned a bit. I didn't realize I'd spent so much time here. Look at that. Time flies when you're having fun, right? It was really nice meeting you, but I really have to get back home. See ya. Un momento! Okay, the freak! I felt his grip on my wrist, somewhat forceful, though it didn't cause me much harm. It was a bit exaggerated for someone as timid and nervous as him. Um, <clears throat> si no te molesta, te, te gustaría intercambiar números? Quisiera asegurarme de que llegues a salvo a casa y, bueno... Tener un mejor contacto contigo. Um, if you don't mind, would you like to exchange numbers? I want to make sure you get home safely and, well, have a better way to stay in contact with you. It's true, even though we had talked for a considerable time online, neither of us knew each other's real names. The dating app only allows us to use preset names, and it was forbidden to share our real names for security reasons. If they notice you breaking this rule, they could permanently ban you from the app. A bit exaggerated for my taste, but I guess it's acceptable. You never know what kind of psychos might be lurking on the internet, like you! Sure, how should I save you? 
He quickly had me another yellow paper with his number written on it, looking down as if tried to hide his excitement. Soy Charlie. Charlie McKay. So you are Charles. Right. I'm Charlie. Charlie McKay. That's a lovely name. It was very nice uh, spending the afternoon with you, Charlie. I'm lying. <laughs> Once again, he looked away while trying to hide the blush. I guess the formal introduction got him a bit excited. He's just so adorable. After exchanging numbers, I gave Charlie a small hug before leaving the store. When I glanced back, I saw him waving goodbye from his seat. I don't like the way he was looking at me. I really don't. Uh. Oh no, I almost missed the last train home. If I'd stayed five more minutes at a cafe, I wouldn't have made it at I wouldn't have made it in time. How can it be that the schedule around here keeps getting worse? The last train was supposed to leave in about 20 minutes, and even though there are many people here, they shouldn't have to rush like this. It's so easy to dampen the mood with something as small as this. But this time I won't let that happen. Today was a great day. I had some delicious treats, and my date with Charlie was better than I imagined. It's a good start, considering all the stuff I had to go through earlier. I took up my phone for a moment to see if I could distract myself. of no internet. There wasn't much to do. I sighed. After browsing my gallery for seven minutes, I put away my phone, feeling boredom consuming me more and more. Fortunately, I'm almost home now. While I was trying to distract myself by looking out the subway window, I felt someone sit down in the seat next to me. Uh, hi? When I turned my head to the side, I saw- I found a guy, staring at me. Why does he look at me like that? Could he be someone I know? Nah, I don't think so. No one I know that move- No one knows that move to the city. Besides, someone so creepy with such a terrifying stare can't have good intentions. Maybe I'm just overreacting. Uh, he's smiling! Maybe he's an art student with a jacket stained in red paint, heading back home. Perhaps if I just ignore him and pretend he isn't there, I'll get off in the next stop. As I look away for a moment, I could hear him start to breathe somewhat heavily. Despite trying to ignore him and not show any interest, I noticed how he shifted a bit closer to me, to the point where I could feel his breath on my neck. My guy? I can't stand this anymore. I think I'll have to leave before I get to my station. I felt his hand against mine, caressing me insistently until at one point I could feel his hand trying to intertwine his fingers my- MY GUY! PERSONAL SPACE! I definitely have to get out of here. Without warning, I get up from my seat and head as quickly as possible towards the exit doors of the subway. As soon as these opened, I ran out into the street, hoping that butthole wasn't following me. What? Why was the sound still going on? I guess it was just a glitch. Finally, I'm home. What the heck? That weirdo. They want to kill me or something. They want to kill me or something? I've had enough of living in a dangerous area at night without some idiot, like, coming to bother me. Luckily, there was no one out on the streets at this hour, and the neighborhood gangs were not around the corners. That doesn't mean that the fear I felt all this time is already gone. My breathing was getting more and more agitated. When I looked down, I could see how my hands were shaking uncontrollably. The sick about the man breathing on my neck made my stomach turn into pain. I just have to ignore that all that happened. I just have to breathe in and try to calm down. I jumped in fear as I felt my phone ring and vibrate insistently in my pocket. I quickly took it out to silence it once and for all. Why are you ringing now? You scared me to death! Huh? Isn't that Charlie? Upon opening the notification, I could read the message that he had sent. Hey, I know it's a bit late, but I didn't mention I would write, so forgive me if I startled you. Just want to make sure you got home safely. Also, I apologize if this bothers you. If you'd like, we could talk again through the dating app. I don't want to bother you, so whatever you decide will be fine by me. Well, let's stop writing now. It was a tiring day for you. Press well, Lion. Yeah, despite meeting in person, it seems like you're still shy around me. What do you mean by forgive me if I startled you? Could it be about him texting me? Maybe I did forget that he would send a message, but I don't think it will be enough to startle me. Or would it? Nah, I, I think I'm overthinking too much. He probably said that because he still feels bad about being late to our date. It really is so adorable. At least reading his message calmed me down a bit. Well, I better eat something before going to sleep. 
And there's nothing in there. God damn it! Are you kidding me? Ah, uh, maybe forget I had to buy groceries before getting home. What am I gonna eat now? I wish I could have another slice of that strawberry cake Charlie bought me. At least that way I would. I could remember the one good thing that happened today. What? What just happened? But I feel my head's a bit lighter. Huh? I don't remember this cake. It looks like the one Charlie bought me today. Maybe I bought it somewhere and didn't realize it. Well, the cake won't eat itself, so... Taking a spoonful of the cake, I could feel the flavor enveloping me completely. It was so delicious that it seemed to erase my worries I had. And I could only think about how delightful it was at the date I had the afternoon. Why do I have a feeling that Charlie is gaslighting me through some supernatural means? Like, that's my guess. I'll definitely invite him out again. Better get ready for bed. I have to go grocery shopping early tomorrow. After finishing the cake, I wash a plate and went to brush my teeth. Alright. Back in my room. As I entered my room, I took off my clothes and put on my pajamas to get ready for bed. I let out a small yawn before placing my phone on the nightstand and plug it in so that the battery will be fully charged in the morning. Now it's sweet old bedtime. Turning off the lights, I slowly approached my bed. God, I'm beat. I began to nestle between my sheets, cuddling with my stuffed animal. Feel like I'd fall asleep at any second now. Right, before sleeping, I should text him back. Don't worry. If we want, we can go on another day. In fact, we could go somewhere else in the city. I'm going to sleep now. See you tomorrow. I hope you have a good night, Charlie. I have a bad feeling about this. Is it gonna jump me again? You gotta jump me? You gotta jump me, Charlie! Charlie? Good. Good. It's good he didn't. Right, I think this is the last decision, and that's just to say, don't worry. Don't worry. That makes the two of us arriving late. I guess that's the first thing we have in common, don't you think? I think the best thing I could do for is give him a moment. After all, the embarrassment he feels must be really overwhelming, and rejecting his apologies would be very rude of me. Immediately, he looked at me with surprise in his eyes. However, with a shy smile, he quickly glanced away. My mere presence seemed to make him nervous. Let out a small sigh and decided to take a spoonful of the cake he had bought me. It looked really delicious and would be a shame not to start eating it. How delicious! This is the best cake I've ever tasted! After a few seconds, I could hear a faint murmur from him. It seemed like he wanted to tell me something, so I stopped eating the cake to listen. ¿Y... ¿Te gustó el pastel? So, did you like the cake? Elegí el de fresa porque es mi sabor favorito. Creí que también te gustaría. I chose strawberry because it's my favorite flavor. I thought you might like it too. I guess it's a good icebreaker subject. I loved it. The flavor is simply exquisite. The sweetness of the strawberry and the softness of the cake, along with the cream, makes it a feast for the palate. I really appreciate that you went through the trouble of buying this for me. If you really like it that much, it's not fair that only I get to eat it. How about you have some too? His expression changed quickly. He blushed and looked very surprised by what I said. ¿En serio? Pero solo hay una cuchara. Are you seriously that embarrassed over like an indirect kiss? Huh? Really? But there's only one spoon. I have to admit it. His extreme shyness is quite entertaining to watch as it makes him so nervous. It's just too adorable. It makes me feel fond of him. <laughs> Well, he kept trying to give me an excuse as to why he couldn't eat. I took a bit of the cake and unexpectedly shoved it into his mouth, making his face turn even red as he simply chewed on it. If you want me to forgive you, it's better you eat with me. So hush up and enjoy the taste. I know it's not right to talk to him like that, but it's the only way he'll understand that I don't mind sharing his gift. Ha! <laughs> See? Wasn't so hard, was it? Um... Um... Me, me disculpas un momento, por favor. Um, could you please ex excuse me for a moment, please? Ah, uh, sure. At that moment, I saw him take out a water bottle from his backpack along with a pill, which almost slipped from his trembling hands. I could see how embarrassed he was for not being able to keep his composure. He immediately took the pill he had in his hands, uh, somewhat desperately, as if he was trying to end his suffering once and for all. It's definitely the strangest reaction I've seen to something as small as feeding someone a piece of cake. Is that too much for him? It's clear that he's shy and a bit jumpy, but I didn't think that would bother him. Also, now that I think about it, some of those qualities would get very anxious if their boundaries were crossed without their consent. 
I'm such an idiot. I shouldn't have been so reckless with him. I'm sorry if that bothered you. It made you uncomfortable in any way. I just wanted you not to be so tense about what happened earlier. I thought giving you some cake would fix that. I'm sorry. Uh, my dude? He turned to look at me while silence once again filled our table. His gaze lost as if he had forgotten where we were. I suppose due to the bad time I made him go through. However, I heard him stammer again, as if he was trying to find the right words to tell me something. Well, no, no, no te preocupes. Es solo que... Oh, no, no, no. Don't worry. It's just that. Yeah? Estas pastillas son para... Una condición que tengo desde hace un tiempo. These pills are for a... No te preocupes. No es nada grave. These pills are for a condition I've had for a while. Don't worry. It's nothing serious. Uh, además, no hiciste nada malo, así que no es necesario que te disculpes, ¿sí? Also, you didn't do anything wrong, so there's no need for you to apologize, okay? ¿Qué tal si mejor hablamos de ti? What if we just talk about you? I see, but you hadn't mentioned anything about that when we talked on the app. Why didn't you tell me? Despite trying to put on a smile, it was quite clear that he felt bad. It was as if his gaze coldly reflected the sadness he was feeling at that moment. I didn't mean to sound too pushy. If you don't want to tell me, I'll understand. No, no, está bien. Yo... No, no, no. It's fine. I just... No quería que creyeras que era alguien raro o débil. Y luego no hubieras aceptado tener la cita conmigo. I didn't want you to think that was weird or freak, and then you wouldn't have agreed to have that date with me. I know it's not your fault, and you have every right to keep things here about yourself hidden until you're ready to tell me, but even so, I would have liked to know that earlier so I wouldn't have behaved so rudely. Really a bit nervous, I placed my hand on his, giving him some gentle strokes to let him know that everything was okay. Judging by his expression, it was clear that the gesture surprised him. Poor thing. I wonder how many people have rejected him just because he had a nervous condition. Don't worry. You're not weird in any way. You're just a bit... They're just a bit different in real life. Yeah. <laughs> but the change in his attitude is normal. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't dying of nerves on my way here, so I understand you perfectly. I could see him blushing as he looked at me in a very adorable way. Gracias por decir eso. Nunca nadie me había dicho algo parecido y lo aprecio bastante. Thank you for saying that. No one has ever said something like that to me before, and I really appreciate it. Realmente eres una muy buena persona. Y la verdad... Ahora me siento un poco mejor sobre mí mismo. You're actually a really good person, and honestly, I feel a bit better about myself now. You're so sweet. If you don't mind, I'd like to get to know you better. Would you like to go out with me again sometime? What I said surprised him a lot. Perhaps he expected a different response from me. Maybe a rejection or something similar, but I think it's best to stay in touch with him. It feels like he needs my support as much as I need his to start my new life. Besides, his reactions are so adorable that I couldn't forget them even if I wanted to. It's as if each of his actions were made by a helpless little lamb. Also, I couldn't help but notice something. While well, he looked surprised by my question about staying in touch, his fingers kept moving rapidly on the table. Is it normal that your finger moves like that, or...? No, lo siento. Supongo que me emocioné. <laughs> De definitivamente es un sí. Me encantaría que nos siguiéramos conociendo. Uh, oh... Sorry, I think I got a bit carried away. <laughs> Definitely, I guess. I'd love to I'd love to keep getting to know each other. Alright, sure thing. And that's pretty much it for Double Sided Mirror. Thank you all so much for watching. If you guys do want to play this game for yourselves, link to the game will be in the description below. So the rest of that particular route pretty much goes about the same as the last route we went on, where we had the scare in the subway. And like Charlie is the one that uh, messages us. I like this game's artwork. However, like I wish that they gave us more dialogue options uh, throughout the game. There were some moments where I'm just like, wait, why isn't this a choice for the player? It just really weirds me out how we're just forced down that route with Charles when like, if, if I was like following the logic of like the player who was going down the route where he's just rejecting everyone, like it would make sense for me that he would reject Charles as well. Considering like you're paranoid, you're scared, and you don't know who to trust. It doesn't make sense that you're son you look at Charles like, oh my god, my dream boy. It doesn't make sense at all. It does not. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all have a lovely rest of the day. <laughs> and as always, I'll be seeing you in the next video. This is Lion, signing off. Ciao.